Good morning and welcome back to Garden Bug Poetry. Today, as promised, our poem is The Pea Affair. It was simple and beautiful. Really, I had no need for peas as they needed access to them to stir up frenzy in the kitchen. I remember each pea that hit the ground. It's what needed to happen. I have only one regret that I was caught upon mom's return trip. If I never get out of here, tell my dogs I love them. Um, so a very silly poem about a child trying to get rid of the vegetables off their plate and utilizing man's best friend to help them eat their peas. Um, <laughs> so the lesson today, uh, life and art are unexpected. Um, you don't have uh, to live life or write a poem that's predictable. Uh, twist things up a bit. Um, surprise yourself. As, as our lives here have become a little bit more restricted, um, a lot more routine oriented, um, you're at home and trying to do school and you're trying to do these different things to take up the time you'd normally spend with your friends or at school. Um, you know, things have constricted a little bit. Um, so use uh, your choices, use your poetry, and surprise yourself. Um, write a poem that uh, surprises, that shocks, that starts serious and ends up on a joke. Um, take the images and the words and make them collide in an unexpected way. Uh, write a poem's end first and uh, start far off from it and try to connect the beginning and the end in an interesting, twisty way. Um, use the narrative as much as you can um, to, to make things unpredictable. That's, that's part of the fun part of including stories, is as the storyteller in a poem, you know where you're headed and you can show parts and hide parts and make it a really interesting journey and you can do that in stories and in, in poetry as well. So our prompts for today. For the younger kids, write a prompt where you, uh, sorry, write a poem where you write the final line of the poem first and then work backwards and see how interesting and twisty you can make the poem. And for the older kids, write a poem with a secret in it. Uh, don't reveal the secret until the end uh, and, and see sort of what you can play with and see how much fun you can have in the secrets reveal and that little twist at the end, just like in the pea affair where the little, the little boy or girl has been feeding the dogs the peas but she gets busted by her mom at the end. Uh, so she, she thanks them for their service of eating the vegetables. Um, so yeah, younger kids write a poem where you write the final line first. Older kids write a poem with a secret in it and don't reveal the secret until the very end. Once you've taken a shot at these or any of our other prompts, please do send in the poems to gardenbugpoetry at gmail.com. We have one of those poems uh, here for today's video. Uh, so I'll be right back. A poem by Oliver from Columbus, an ode to my dog. Harley, my dog, Digger, ears down when she's excited. When you wake up, she's delighted. Whiner, wants to play with her sister, but always loses. Jumps from high places. Toy stealer, faster than her sister. Aggressive kisser. Blue eyes, want, makes me want to cry. Has to have her sister's toy. You're a bundle of joy. Thank you sending in another poem that was fantastic it seems like you're really <laughs> loving your new dog um, so this week is gonna be the last week we're doing these every day when I mapped out the plan for garden bug poetry it was to cover the three weeks where everyone was out of school it seems like we might be home a little bit longer than that um, so I don't have anything mapped out past this week but if school doesn't come back into session, I'll still try to do one of these a week um, just to keep uh, coming up with lessons and prompts for you guys until uh, we get to summer. Um, and that way I can also read more of your poems as you keep writing them and send them in with the prompts. That way 
uh, we can sort of keep things going till what the end of the school year would be, assuming that you folks don't end up back in school sooner than later, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, so that'd be the plan, one a day every day this week, uh, Monday through Friday, until um, after that, what we'll do is we'll start doing them once a week um, because the lesson plans that, that I've mapped out <laughs> end after three weeks. Uh, anyway, so thank you for joining us today, Garden Bug Poetry. It'll be one of these every day this week. Uh, I hope wherever you are, it's a beautiful day. It is beautiful and super windy um, here in Columbus. Uh, so wherever you are, stay healthy, stay ornery, and we will see you tomorrow with another video from Garden Bug Poetry. Thank you.